In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create and then apply a master page to another page in Vinyl Master, which is a very handy thing to be able to do. I've pre-designed a document here, masterpages.vdoc. This is a three-page document, as you can see, page one, two, and three. And in Vinyl Master, there's a page thumbnail viewer, which you can get to down here by clicking on this docker, and that pops this out. Now this is a great way of seeing all your pages within your document. You can click on this and see pages 1, 2 and 3 and no matter how many pages I have here I can scroll through them and see them all. What I want to do here is I want to set page 1 as the background to page 2. So I want to set page 1 here as the master page of page 2. It's very easy to do so I have these tools down here. I come down here and I click on set master page. So I have page 1 selected and I click on set master page and as you can see it's saying master 1. So this is now a master page so step 2 is to apply this master page here as the background to page 2. To do that I go to page 2 so I click on that I come down here and I click on show master page click on that and as you can see I now have page 1 as the background to page 2. Now I can't select on page 1 here or any of the contents of page 1. I can draw on a marquee, I can try and click. I can't select this. It's not available. I can also frost this out so that I can tell that it's not a part of page 2 by right clicking here and going frost background. So now I can't, I, it, it's frosted out and I, which indicates that it's a master page or a background page and if I click on this and move this around so I can create any content here on page 2 without any effect on the master page or the background page. So that's a really handy thing to be able to do. Now what I'll do now is I'll show you how to turn the master page or the background page off. And it's really easy. All you do is you come down here and click on this button and there it is, it's gone. You click back on it and it's there. So that's a way of turning master pages on and off. Now you may ask, well, what's the big advantage with master pages? If I go to page one here, I'll just delete this and I'll just import one of our sample logos here. Uh, USPS will be fine. Let's say I click that there. Now I might do uh, work for these guys and um, I might do posters for them or billboards or whatever I, I happen to do for them. And I have this logo say pre-printed as decals that I can just stick onto my regular uh, signs that I'm doing for this for this uh, client here. So I may have this already pre-made, pre-printed or pre-cut out ready to go and I have say hundreds of them in stock so I don't need to redo this every time. I just need to know that this happens to be according to this client for some reason in this particular position on their, on their uh, signs. So if I go to page 2 here and I've set, already set that page or page 1 as a master page so I set it as the background so we click here and we go set as the background I now know not to come anywhere near this area here for the jobs I'm working with so the content of page 2 is not to overlap this area the great thing with that is it means that although I can see this it's not in my way I can't click on it it's not bothering my design work on page 2 and that's the advantage of having a master page and if I want to go and print this I can set it as an option to print it but generally speaking it's ignored but I can at least see it and I can work around it so if I'm doing work for a real estate agent or for a uh, someone like the USPS or any, any client really that has a repetitive type of job that you always do for them you can then easily set it as a master page you'll know where the position of that uh, artwork is but it won't get in your way so that's the advantage of, uh, of master pages Okay, now if I was doing a job for this, uh, this client here and I did want to uh, say cut and print this out, what I can do is I can go onto page one there and I can come up to this layout menu up here and I can go down to master pages and I can uh, click on move select, uh, sorry, release from master page, move all. Okay, so what I can do is I can come to page two, I can go up to the layout, master pages, release from master page move all 
and you can see now that it's moved off page 1, it's no longer there. So it's gone from that master page and it's been moved to page 2. So I can move anything from the master page back onto my main page so that it's no longer the background. So I can move it and position it. I can also send it back by coming up to the layout menu, go to master pages, move selected to master page and as you can see I'm back on the master page here, I've moved it there back on page 2, it's still a part of my master page in the background there but it's no longer on page 2 and if I turn my master page off I can show you that because it's gone here I'd need to bring this, I'd need to reshow or redisplay the master page to bring this up so that's how we move the uh, the items from the master page through to other the actual main pages that's the way to do that okay another thing I want to show you is that you can have multiple master pages in the same document so I can go to page 3 here and I've got some really good tools down here I can add a page and as you can see it's added to page 4 here okay I can remove page 4 by simply clicking on that on the delete page so whatever page I've got if I click delete it just deletes out the page so here I go add a page and it just copies the same size as this existing page. Of course I can resize this if I want to without any without affecting the other pages here. So now what I can do is I can set page 3 I can come here to page 3 and I can set that as a master page so that becomes a master page and now I can set 4 to have a master page and if I click this button it will show me the very first master in the document, the very first master page and it will apply the very first master page as the background page to any other pages in uh, as the background as I go along. So if I want to set page 3 as my master page and not page 1 that's very easy. All I do is I come up to here and as long as I'm in object mode and I have nothing selected I see the second row of tools here I can click on the master pages drop down and I can now go select master page number so here I'll set that to 3 and I click enter and you'll now see that the background page to page 4 is page 3 okay so no longer is the very first page up here the master page of page 4 I've set that to page 3 and I can keep doing that I can have a hundred pages and I can have you know master pages for this page and that page and backgrounds I can chop and change that as much as I like and that's the advantage with master pages and from up here you can actually uh, you need to select on the right page you can also uh, turn master pages on and off up here as well okay and that's the end of this lesson